Are you exhausted from your engine misfiring and concerned about its fuel pressure? Look no further. Hi there, my name is Dan, and I'm an automotive engineer with years of experience in engine maintenance. If you've been having trouble with your engine misfiring, then you probably already know that high levels of fuel pressure can be a major problem. Thankfully, reducing fuel pressure in your engine is not as complicated as it might seem. I am going to share three ways to reduce the fuel pressure in your car, and if you stay till the end, I will share a bonus tip. Number one, using a rag and a screwdriver. This method involves pressing the Schrader valve, a small spring-loaded valve similar to those found on bicycle tires, located on your car's fuel rail. By pushing down the pin in the center of this valve, you allow the pressurized fuel within the system to be released, effectively reducing the fuel pressure. It's important to cover the area with a rag to catch any fuel that may spray out due to the pressure. Always ensure the engine is off when performing this action for safety reasons, and wear protective gear like gloves and safety goggles. Number two, relieving fuel system pressure. If the car cannot run, fuel system pressure can still be relieved. This usually involves starting the car, then cutting off the electricity to the pump and allowing the car to run until the fuel system pressure has been relieved. This process allows the fuel in the system to be used up without being replenished, thus reducing the pressure. Number three, installing a pressure regulator. A pressure regulator can be installed into the rubber fuel hose that runs from the fuel tank to the fuel pump. The regulator controls the amount of fuel pressure by adjusting the flow of fuel based on the engine's demand. When the demand is low, the regulator reduces the fuel flow, thereby lowering the pressure. Bonus tip, bleeding unused fuel back to the tank. This method involves integrating a T, an adjustable valve into the fuel system to redirect unused fuel back to the tank. This action reduces the pressure on the electric fuel pump as the excess fuel in the system is rerouted back to the tank instead of being left in the fuel lines or pump. This not only reduces pressure but can also improve fuel efficiency. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.